Hi dear parents, a very good evening. Uh, parent Station, Mom Harsha's Diary is coming up with a live FB live series. And today we are going to do the first session of that series. A few days back, I came across the poster which Dr. Swati Popat had posted on the Facebook. Uh, it had all the A to Z letters and each letter defined a parenting skill, which really touched me. A for acceptance, B for something else, C for something else. So when I was going through that post poster, I felt that each letter, if a parent learns in his or her attitude and tries to make some changes in his or her behavior, I think it's a complete parenting guide. So today, the first letter of A to Z of parenting is letter A, which says acceptance. Accept your child as he or she is. Now this word acceptance, when I look at this word and when I start thinking about that word, I think for any relationship, not only parent-children relationship, but for any relationship, I think this word is the base. This word is the foundation. Because uh, when we talk about love, when we talk about any emotion in the relationship, we tell that love should be unconditional. But have we ever thought that is it in unconditional? Well, if we introspect, most of the times it's not. Whether it's a parent-child relationship or any other relationship, love has always, 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 a uh, majority of the times been conditional. Because when we think of our children, we like our children all the time. But when they do not behave as we want, when they do not react as we want, or we, uh, when they do not do as directed, do we really at that moment love them? Thoda sa to dimag mein aahi jata hai ki ye aise nahi aise karna tha. We all are sailing in the same boat. At times we have scolded our children, at times we have been angry with them because the base is that we want them to behave or to react or to be present in a particular phrase. When we go to parties or to family get together, we have a definition of behavior which we directly or indirectly instruct our children. Every one of us does that and there is nothing wrong in that. But what happens when children do not do as directed? I'm putting these uh, words do as directed into inverted commas because we are in the mode of giving directions, giving instructions. When we, parent, we become parents, automatically uh, this quality uh, comes up. It, it, it sort of, you know, blasts and uh, we think uh, we own our children. We really, at times, need to sit down, think a little, that are we ready to ch accept our children as they are? It's very difficult. When children do as directed, when they do whatever we say, uh, definitely we, we take pride in that and we, uh, you know, we are very happy, we love them, we do every, every, every bit of thing for them. But when any age, if it is a toddler, if it is a teen, specifically for teenagers, I would like to underline this word that it is very difficult because uh, the generation gap here, we can feel the generation gap when our children reach the teens. That is where difference of opinions rise in a family. And that is where we need this acceptance. Because we think in a particular way, our children have their own ideologies and they do not match. And at that time is the test of our parenting patience, our parenting skills. But at that stage, if we've not tried it from the very early age, we cannot develop this quality of accepting. It is very important since we have a child in our family, it's very important 
Uh, by saying this, I don't mean that we should not advise our children, we should not instruct our children. Well, that is a duty of a parent to always cordon them, to guide them, to tell them what is wrong, what is right, to give them a correct sort of behavior. Everything is a duty of a parent. But what if children do not listen to those things? Well, that is the test. So I think it's very important to understand everything from a child's perspective also. At times we become so violent, I'm not talking in terms of hitting the children, but in terms of vocabulary, in terms of talking to them, our words are so violent that it, it sort of creates distance. So let's uh, decide something to our own selves. Number one, what I feel and what I try to practice uh, well, uh, many a times even I fail to do that, but uh, I keep on reminding myself that uh, children are through me. They are not who my own. They are an individual personality on this earth. It's my duty to guide them. It's my duty to instruct them. It's my duty to advise them. But it, my, the most important duty is to love them as they are, as they are. It's very important. And when you have this kind of a bonding, it will stay for long because we are in a techno generation. The generation is very fast. There is no time for anyone to even breathe. So when the children, the, the toddlers, when they become, when they reach to their teens, if this touch, of acceptance is not there, the distance is going to grow more and more and more. So ultimately, it's all about accepting. Every single day, when you sleep at night, I think you should introspect that expect and that is revolving in my mind. Because wohi chalta leta hai. Anytime we instruct our children and because I also have gone through this uh, phase and I'm still going through this phase, it's very difficult because when you instruct children, when they don't react in a particular moment, in a particular way, it revolves in our mind and then when we are with our children, by default, that thing come, keeps on coming out, keeps on coming out till either the child surrenders or we surrender and most of the time it's the children who surrender. So I urge that it's very, very important to accept rather than expect. So I think this tip is really very helpful. Even it's very difficult for me to practice, but uh, I will definitely, I am trying to practice this and I would request each one of you who are listening to me that uh, if you are talking about a bond between a parent and a child, the first letter of A, acceptance, is very important. And acceptance in true form, not in just words. So have a happy parenting uh, ahead and I will be coming on with letter B, C, D till Z to explain to you to the best of my knowledge. Hope this parenting tip helps you. Thank you so much.